UFA Nation, Gabe. Nick. And we're here today to bring you another installment of Cricket Convos. Cricket Convos. It don't even matter when we're in the same room. I mean, we blow it all the time anyway. I, I did that one on purpose. I did that one on purpose. Time is, impe- time is impeccable. And guys, we're super excited to bring you this Cricket Convos. Now here, full disclosure, unlike you know, many other YouTubers, and I'm not knocking them because a lot of times I don't have time. You know, it's it, it's you become inundated, right, with so much work. But contrary to popular belief, and Han knows this, all right, we read our comments, all right. Nick more than anyone reads the comments, and in the comments, you know, there was a couple a, a, a couple comments besmirching the good name of CFA Nation because we 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 had not addressed the Asia Cup. Right now, again, guys, full disclosure, Nick and I are busy. School teachers, I got to. I'm flying out every weekend, every other weekend, I should say, to go see my son play college ball in North Dakota. It's a busy time. With that being said, this was a very special feat, and we just felt we had to address it. Right now, I'm wearing Aaron Judge's New York 99 because he's about to break one of the all time records in baseball, one of the most coveted records, single season home run record. Everybody that's technically broken it has been up on juice and cheating allegations. So none of those records actually stand right now. The record is held by a Yankee. They still stand. They still stand. I'm just saying. All right. Number 61. And uh, just to be fair, it's actually 61 with an asterisk because the original record of 60, which Babe Ruth held, right, was done in the when when the it only used to be 140 games, was it? Or 154 games. 154 games and not the uh, extra games that you get now at the 162. So that's, you know, neither here or there. But records are important. And in this Asia Cup, Sri Lanka is closer and closer to tying the record for the most wins. And Nick, let's let's just uh, uh, start talking about that. I want you to share your thoughts, my friend, and uh, maybe give us a little insight, Mr. Miyagi. Yeah. Before we get to the Asia Cup, let me just piggyback on that for a second. I'm not going to bore everyone with with how busy we are, but we are we're very busy. All right, and all I'm going to say all I'm going to say is this: there is a better way to go about getting our attention and asking us to talk about something where neither of us have a dog in the fight. Sorry, we don't. There's a better way of getting a request upon or out there besides just whining and complaining. I'm just saying. And besides talk a little bit of smack. So for most of CFA Nation, they, they know how to do that. Get the request in the comment section. Very simple. If it's not there, hit us up on Twitter, Instagram, email. If that doesn't work, consider shout out a few dollars, becoming a patron. And we're definitely going to hear that loud and clear because we take care of our patrons. But with that being said, of course, we were going to talk about this. We just couldn't get to it at the you know exact moment. This was our first Asia Cup. Okay, we had a lot of first on this channel because we cover a lot of different cricket besides the before mentioned India cricket. Um, we cover a lot of it. And this Asia Cup is very interesting. When I talked about it, I think our very first live stream, I had put Sri Lanka as number four. Sri Lanka is my fourth favorite out of the six teams. Bangladesh behind and then Hong Kong with these six teams, India, Pakistan, um, Afghanistan, Sri Lanka. Those are my top four ranking. And the very first match kind of cemented my understanding because Afghanistan destroyed Sri Lanka. I mean, it right. bears Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka put up some Barbados Tridents numbers up there for crying out loud. With the oh, they always did. with the drive-bys. With the one one. And then Afghanistan chased it in the 11th over, like barely cracking into the 11th over, okay? But to Sri Lanka's credit, they didn't lose a, lose a match after that and they played afghanistan a few matches later and they didn't smack them around but they were able to win like a lot of those middle tournament matches in the chasing in the 20th over so that was really impressive but i want to talk about the asia cup in general after watching i didn't watch every single match but after watching this year's asia cup i have a few thoughts i think it's super cool because you get these bilateral series almost right, where you got Pakistan and India playing against each other, where we're not going to get that too much. You get a chance to get Hong Kong and Bangladesh involved in there and playing these teams back and back to fourth and whatever. I think that's awesome showcasing Asia cricket. And it's called the Asia Cup. It is what it is. But at the same time, 
it's a little unfair, okay? Because you look at the T20 the men's rankings for ICC, T20. Yeah. You got India ranked number one. So big upset. They did not even win this tournament amongst these six teams, let alone yeah. the entire ICC. You have right. Pakistan ranked number four. And then you got to go down to eight, nine, and 10, where you have Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, and Afghanistan in that respective order. And you got to look till 21 till you get to some Hong Kong action. So it's not like it's even competition, but maybe it's like a division in domestic sports where these teams know each other so well that it was very competitive because it was a competitive tournament. This is a, an, an Asia Cup where you had coming into this one, India had seven titles, Sri Lanka had five, Pakistan had two. Bangladesh and the other teams didn't have any, but Bangladesh, if I'm not mistaken, was in three of the last five as a runners-ups. That's tough. Right. That's RCB like right there, where you get there every time you become a runners up. Right? Wow, Nick with the drive by today. Oh, I'm not RCB trying to make a drive by. That's actually a compliment right. for Bangladesh because they're competing with these bigger right. boys, so to speak, and right. they're able to get there. They could potentially have been three times Asia Cup champions. This is also the second T20 Asia Cup. Every other one's been ODI, and it's scheduled. Right. I believe it's next year already. I could be wrong. Uh, yes, next year it's scheduled to be back to ODI in Pakistan. So that'll be very, very interesting. Hopefully, whoa, no shenanigans wow. there. No interesting. Shenanigans, right? Yeah, that's that's what it's slated. At least that's what uh, Wikipedia is the site of using right now. That's what Wikipedia is telling me. So with all that said and done, I did not think Sri Lanka was going to be able to do what they did. Let's fast forward. You had your final four, right? And, and India had already played Pakistan, beat them in the, the beginning part of the tournament, played them a right. second time, Pakistan beat them, and that really hurt because now you're talking about the Final Four right. tournament. And then they lost to Sri Lanka, and that basically sealed their fate, for crying out loud. Right. Sri Lanka was able to take down everybody. They, they got revenge on Afghanistan. They took down the number one ranked ICC T20 team in India. They took down Pakistan twice, for crying out loud. And when Gabe told me they won the first time, He's like, dude, they won. And I was like, that's cool, but this match doesn't matter because they're going to face each right. other again on Sunday. Right. But I think it did matter because it showed Sri right. Lanka, if you know sports, we got these guys. Like, are you kidding me? So if you did not know from my whole rant here, Sri Lanka has won the Asia Cup for the <laughs> sixth time. They're only right. one behind India for crying out loud. When it comes to right. Asia Cup, they show up for crying out loud. And we know they got right. World Cup titles as well. So for such a, a small country area-wise, right? right, for a country that, I'm sorry, Gabe and I never have in maybe the top five most dangerous team in any format, right, they're able to show up in clutch moments, which is super impressive. Those are just a few of my opening thoughts, Gabe. What do you got? So, you know, digesting some of your thoughts there, first and foremost, I got to disagree with you pertaining to – the standings and the level of competition in the Asia Cup. And what I mean by that is many a times you'll have a team travel from, let's say, England. There's a perfect example. England, it's a foregone conclusion that when they play in a subcontinent, they're done, right? They can't play spin. Here, I feel that because all these teams are subcontinent teams, right? Of course, the Asia Cup, they all have spinners, and know how to play spin. So it actually puts it more on an even playing field. Does that make sense, Nick? Where, you know, Afghanistan, think about one of their best uh, uh, players, right? Rashid Khan, spinner. You know, uh, Chahal for India. All these guys are used to playing spin. All these bowlers are used to these spin-friendly conditions. So I think it emphasizes that style of play. If that, you know what I mean? If, um, if that makes sense. To your point, yeah, Hong Kong has no business showing up anywhere close to an India ranked at number one or Pakistan ranked at, you said, number four. But if we're at home under the same conditions, I got a shot, all right? And not that Bangladesh is a slouch, but listen, if I'm at home and I've got, it's like they say uh, in baseball, right? I don't care what your team is. I don't care what your record is. Any team can beat any team on any given day, especially with whoever's pitching on that day, whoever's on the mound, and whoever's bowling on the mound. And to my, I'm pretty sure Sri Lanka had the second most, uh, the second most uh, 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 wicket taker. And was it Hasaranga? I know number one was Booby, yeah, right? Two. Yeah. And number two was bro. It's about who can bowl and take those wickets, and we saw that. I will tell. I'll be honest. I didn't even have a, a Sri Lanka getting there. I think I might have had Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, and maybe Bangladesh. I just I, I 
I did not have Sherlock getting there. And after that first match, it was overreaction theater. Oh, Nick heard it. Told you. Told you. I'm like, are you kidding me? You know what I mean? They got smacked that first match. But it's only one match. It's only one match, to your point. And overreaction theater is something that happens way too often in all sports, right? One game. It, again, think about India playing in Australia. 59 or what was it? 59 all out or 39 all out? I don't even remember. I was letting Nick have it. Me and Dr. Jihan, 36 all out. Me and Dr. Jihan were letting Nick have it. We were all, oh, we were glowing. We we're like, whitewash, whitewash. One game is not all, but it felt that way. I like these guys don't even belong. So obviously, Sri Lanka showed they belong. And here's the thing: I should have known better, Nick, because I've seen these Sri Lanka players perform in the IPL. All right, we're talking about Hasaranga. Hasaranga is an absolute dog, bro. Dog. RCB didn't pay enough to him. Matter of fact, this year they had to continue to take him up to the chiropractor because he was tired of carrying that team on his back. You know what I mean? Because other guys weren't doing their job. It was basically him and the big show. Like, can we get some help around here? Can we can we get some help around here? But Saranda's a dog. And, you know, bowling can dominate matches. You also got this guy. Uh, I cannot. I never. I mis always uh, mispronounce his name. Is it Raj Pasca? He was also with RCB, wasn't he, Nick? Uh, no, I don't believe so. I thought he was. I, I, I remember seeing him in the IPL. Let me know in the chat. I thought I remember seeing him. Maybe it was a similar name like that in IPR. I remember picking up that player. I didn't follow him whatsoever. But 71 off of 45. And here's the thing. We knew about their bowling, right? We knew about their bowling. But it was their batting that I was not expecting. And guys, not just Hasaranga, but guys like Nasanka and, again, uh, uh, Rajaspaka, these guys put in work. They know how to play spin. They know how to play in subcontinent conditions. And they weren't based. It was like, and India, what? And Pakistan, what? You know what I mean? And Afghanistan, what? You know what I mean? Like, like we're all men out here, right? We're all cricket players. At the end of the day, we're going to step on the field and we're going to uh, see who's the better team. And in a, in a series like this, anything can happen. Anything but Hong Kong winning. If Hong Kong would have won, that would have broke the internet. I don't see Hong Kong winning. Come on. Really? Bro, that's like USA winning the, 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 the World T20. Could you imagine, bro? It, stop it. Stop it, all right? Like, like come on. Come on. Are, but, are you ready for me to tell you why you're wrong? Are you ready now? Well, well, you have that well, out, of your, out of your system, okay? But be, before, before you, you come and poo-poo all over my statement that it was more even footing because they at least get to play – uh, on you know they they're all spin friendly conditions. They're subcontinent teams, so they know how to play in those conditions. I will say this though: what we did see, Nick, was some unbelievable play and the level of competition. I mean, dude, it's so slight. It really, really is. And I thought Pakistan was going to win it all. I thought it was a foregone conclusion. Once Pakistan handed it to India, I was like, that's it. Who's going to be Pakistan with that bowling? And, dude, um, I think I feel bad for Ozjock, friend of the channel, Ozjock Cricket for Us 2.0. Oh, actually, I think he put out a, 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 a message the other day. It might be Cricket for Us 2.0, uh, 3.0 now, Nick. Did you see that? He got another show. Oh, Ozjock. He was just talking about a game. What are you going to do? Are you done do? yet? Are you ready but, for the uh, truth to come in? I feel bad for my man, Ozjock, because they also bungled some balls and dropped. They choked. They dropped some... Some balls and oh, Pakistan. What else is new? Go ahead. Listen. listen. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so what else is new? If Ajah was Where sitting Ajah? right next to me, he would say, "Yeah, he's right." What else is new? Uh, he oh, says God. all the time, watching Pakistan play in a high pressure match is the hardest thing ever to do, because um, you're just waiting for them. You're just waiting for them to mess. Up. This is coming from a Pakistan fan. Okay, I'm just saying. Oh, I'm just saying. Gosh. First of all, I believe the UAE is in the Middle East, not the subcontinent. Just saying. Second of all. India had a tour with Sri Lanka this year. They had three T20s and they had two tests. You want to guess how many times Sri Lanka beat them? It rhymes with hero, okay? Hero. Pakistan played against Sri Lanka. Three matches. One was drawn. The other two, they each took a decision. So that's evenly matched. Australia came into Sri Lanka. 
10 total matches across all formats. Five yep. for Sri Lanka, five for Australia. Okay. Yep. So first of all, with your theory of it's all even because it's all in the Kumbaya land of Asia. Uh, how did that work out for Sri Lanka last time? And that's not me puffing my chest about India. This has nothing yep. to do with India. This right, has right, to right. do with me being right, saying Sri Lanka shows up when right. they need to show up. When it's a clutch time, they're going to do it. And I'll tell you right now, you look at every single one of these matches. It wasn't one guy every single time. It wasn't Hasaranga every single time. It wasn't Rajapaksa every single time. It wasn't Mendes every time. It wasn't the same guys every single time. If Mendes went down for a duck, the other guy, let me make sure I get his name. I want to give credit where credit is due if uh if mendes went down for a duck then oh my gosh who's their next opener is it nasanka for crying out loud they would show up yeah nasanka would okay. show up in the in the last two matches against pakistan mendes and nasanka basically did nothing for crying out loud right. look at the final and not until like you mentioned roger pox is still not out the guy is still not out 71 off 45 balls they are able to get in this tournament performances from different players. It doesn't matter who it is. And you said, yes, Hasaranga. Yes, he was number two with wickets. You have to go to like seven or eight. What is there? Where is it on the list? You have to go to eight before you find uh, Shamika in there with his seven wickets because they're so well balanced, Gabe. If it's not this guy, this other guy's going to kill you. If it's not the other guy, this guy's going to kill you for crying out loud. You're talking about looking at uh, Don and Jaya, right? You got who was the guy? Uh, was it Don and Jaya or was it Madushanka? Someone is getting three or four wickets in one match and zero the next because it's a consistency with the team. Someone's gonna pick up that rock more than one or two, but in most of these matches, you can pinpoint two guys with big performances, and it's not always the same two guys. When it comes to the clutch moment, and I'm gonna say this right now. You talk about drive-by? So far, I've done a drive-by on um, Bangladesh, yeah. I think, on Pakistan, on Australia. Who else did I drive-by so far? The whole CPL. Like, what do we do you? Barbados <laughs> Tridents, my <laughs> team. Who I'm told about? Don Antonio. I love Don Antonio. He's one of our best viewers. He's He knows how to request and get our attention, right? He's like, Nick, your Royals are in first place. You got to talk about them. He's like, I need you to mush them so my Trident, so my um, TKR can win. I absolutely love Don Antonio. Shout out to you. But listen, now I'm going to drive by India, okay? If it's a clutch performance, guess who you can't count on, count on for crying out loud? Don't even think about count on India. I'd rather bring in freaking uh, Namibia for crying out loud or Oman. I'm going to bring them in for that championship match. Don't even He's stop it. He's stop India it. For crying out loud. I'm telling you, don't even think about it. But Sri Lanka? I mean, I'm going to use a phrase from the basketball commentators. That's a bad man right there. Those guys show up, and they don't care who it is. They don't care who they're – they don't care if they're facing the Monstars for crying out loud from Space Jam. They're going to right. take you down, and they don't need no Bugs Bunny or Bill Murray to come in the last minute and do the pass of his control. career or whatever. Yeah, they could show. They show up. They show up. And I'm sorry, I thought Pakistan, I thought after seeing their performances, even their loss to India, I'm like, that's the team that's going to win this. Obviously, I was right. so wrong. I was absolutely so wrong. And I'm happy to be wrong because it gets me to learn stuff, right? It gets me to understand. But Sri Lanka, I mean, write them down. If it's a clutch, if they're in the final four for the World Cup this year, I guarantee who's going to win it. Sorry, Australia. Sorry, anyone else. It's going to be Sri Lanka, even in Australia. Now, I know Jihan just lost his mind. He unsubscribed <laughs> right now. I understand people <laughs> are losing it. Dibbly Dobbly's like, is he allowed to be on YouTube saying that kind of nonsense? But I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Huge win for Sri Lanka. They convinced right. me. If it's a clutch if it's a clutch match, it's a tournament, I don't want to face them. No way. Okay, I, I see what you're saying. Them? Listen, I see what you're saying. And even though... You know, not historically, you know, Bangladesh is probably one of the lower teams there in the, so, so, I mean, Hong Kong doesn't even count. I'm sorry. All right. They're like us. They're an associate nation. But Bangladesh, you know, they're a full, 
fledged, you know, cricketing nation, along with Afghanistan. Absolutely. But Sri Lanka is probably the only other team other than India and Pakistan that consistently ranks up there. They've got themselves, like you said, what, this is the sixth time they've, they, they've won it. Uh, they beat they beat India before. Wow, what was that match we were watching before? I can't remember. Uh, was it in the um, ODI World Club? I mean, I mean, obviously they've had some great players, legendary players uh, uh, um, as well. And I mean, I, I guess the biggest thing for me, Nick, is why do they struggle? Then, to your point, why do they show up just in the Asia Cup and against? India, who arguably is number, like you said, number one in the world, and even a Pakistan. But then when we're talking about in world standings, they're down at what, eight, nine, ten, whatever, seven you know what eight. I mean? Any seven. format, it's either seven or eight. Yep. So why so that why do they to clutch. your point? They they clutch. They weren't clutched then when they played ten games against Australia and only went fifty no, no, five. No, no. Uh, I'm uh, talking about five. clutch in a tournament. Clutch in a tournament. That's all I'm saying. In, in a tournament setting, I see what you're saying. But do, does that make sense? Then what's lacking? Why aren't they more consistent where that they can be, well, you know, and, and play at that bigger level? And not that they haven't. Look, at Sri Lanka fans are about to light me up like a Christmas. I know about the wins. Listen, I know about the wins. I know about the the, the championships. Yes, they beat in India before uh, 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 in both tests and, and ODI and they won championships. But it seems like, to your point earlier, Nick, that – yeah, in the tournament they were clutch, and and in this tournament I guess they're always clutch, right? Six, the uh, um, wins. Pakistan ha- only has what two? India has seven. So I mean, nobody else has won. But with that being said, they'll go and drop five games to Australia at home when they shouldn't. They'll go ahead and get smacked against India when they should. Like, explain that to me. Why? W- w- what's the difference? I'm telling you, when, when the moment is at the highest. They're able to reach the top for crying out loud. Let's let's do let's do the flip side in a baseball, and we're gonna lose a lot of the audience. Sorry, but the flip side is this: the Atlanta Braves had a 15-year period in Major League Baseball where they made the playoffs every single year. And for the longest time, it was just eight teams. You had a 20, you had a 12 and a half percent chance of winning the World Series. They yeah. won one World Series in 15 years. In 15 years, just recently they won the World Series last year. They haven't had no long streak of the playoffs. It's, it's unfathomable sometimes the way teams are. They have that history. The teams I follow have the history of choking every single time. And I'm not talking about freaking it has some World Cups and all that kind of stuff. I'm talking about the Padres and the Chargers. But I don't know everything about Sri Lanka, but I think a Sri Lanka fan would tell you this. First of all, the reason why the state of cricket is what it is in the past, especially the last four or five years, is lots of turnaround. Lots of uh, those legends retiring, moving on, and bringing in a new crop. I want to say I read an article once about how they had considered stopping cricket altogether because the country didn't have the money to afford a national team. And I don't know for sure. Comment below, educate us on what we're wrong about. But they have gone through it for crying out loud. But they have these young players, right? They have these young players, and you can have all the young talent you want, all the prospects you want. They've got to perform. And that's what they're doing. This is some as a Sri Lanka fan. And this is where the passion comes in to want us to talk about it. And I get that. It's just the way we go about it. This is where you're pumped up as a, as a Sri Lanka fan, as someone from Sri Lanka or whatever, because you're seeing something they're doing that they should probably not be doing. And against every India is the number one ranked squad in the ICC. And, and that's regular season. India can do that all day long, right? Wait until the tournament comes. Oh, no. Right. But that's my answer to that. Right. I think it's it's super impressive. I love the fact that you can count. You can lean on several guys, not just one or two. Talking about this Asia Cup to, to set aside from Sri Lanka a little bit and talk about the rest of the teams. Super impressed with Pakistan. It made me want a bilateral series between Pakistan and India even more for crying out loud. They were able to perform without their best bowler. Shadab Khan is a revelation, in my opinion. Fantastic spinner they have. And obviously Rizwan and you have the other guys at the top that are able to get things done. Nawaz there in the middle. Very, very impressive. They just fell flat, especially in that final match. The, 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 the second to last match, the one they had to play against each other, that was really, really close. The final, and about the final real quick, I forgot to mention this. This final was crazy. Do you realize that Sri Lanka took seven wickets from Pakistan in the death? Seven in the 
mean, what do we always say, game? You don't want to lose seven in the death. <laughs> you're out of nine for crying out loud. Oh, you're out of they control. Lost you're seven fool. wickets in the death because Sri Lanka was only defending, I think, a score of like 170. And so they yeah, really like had to restrict them. And what's the best way to restrict them? Don't let a partnership get going. Buy. Right. I mean, they're getting two wickets in the fifth, in the sixteenth. They're getting two or three in the sixth, in the seventeenth. It was crazy. I've never seen something like that in a game that you know has a lot of weight to it, if you will. And you know, India, we saw Virat Kohli and and Boovy, the resurgence of both those players. That was really positive. Afghanistan, they had some exciting matches. They had some blowouts, and then they just got stomped on from India. Um, they had a whole type of experience right here, but we know what their country is going through and the players trying to stay focused. They had number one player in T20 in Muhammad Nabi. Um, it was unfortunate that Hong Kong wasn't really able to perform. We understand why, but that was unfortunate. And it was unfortunate right. that Bangladesh wasn't able to make a little more noise than they did. Right. Right. But all in all, it was a good tournament. Um, I'm just curious how many people who are not, fans of an Asia team that still follow cricket. How many of you all in the comment section care about the Asia cup? And I'm not trying to put a wet blanket over it. I'm really not. I'm just curious. Cause I don't know the tournament that well. How many people get excited for this? If you don't have a dog in the fight, if you don't have a team that you're rooting for. Yeah, that's that, 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 I mean, you know, one of the things that this Asia cup also showed you, like you said, Right, defending a, a a total of 170. At one point, we're like, "Oh man, this thing is done." And then seven wickets in the death. Right, uh, bowling, yeah. just like pitching in baseball, it wins championships, it wins games, it wins titles. Do you realize that the number one scorer in the I in the um, Asia Cup, okay, was Rizwan, who had one more game than was one more game than Coley, but only had. Uh, what five more runs than Coley? Coley actually, if you look at his average, ninety-two. Coley had in five games two hundred seventy-six runs. Rizwan had two eighty-one in six games. So just think about that. Those are the two leading yeah. scorers. Strike rates way higher. Average is way and higher for Coley. Way higher, but and then it was uh Rizbaska, who's the leading scorer in the tournament, and Nasanka uh for uh, Sri Lanka. Both at 191 in six games and 173. 47 average and 34 average. What am I getting at? Okay, Nick. Bowling. Take those wickets. Restrict the runs. All right. Defend a score of 170. India put up some big totals and couldn't bowl. Couldn't restrict the runs. That's why they lost. That's why they lost. All right. Bowling wins championships. Right, I know everybody has to say catches win matches. Yeah, but the bowlers got to be able to uh, 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 bowl a good ball and not give up a, a, a like, like I like to say, give up a cookie that is going to get bound, you know, pounded for a six or whatever. You got to take wickets, man. And that's what I think Sri Lanka did well. They took wickets and they restricted the scoring. They really did a good job about that. I know what you're saying, that different guys played different roles. To your point, they also had uh, Mendes. Uh, he was like, I think the seventh or eighth leading scorer in the whole tournament. He had 155, but they didn't have anybody that was just putting up those centuries and crazy numbers, but they played as a team. They, they, they played good defense. Sorry, Pakistan. And they went ahead and took wickets. That's what wins games, man. That's what wins games. <laughs> you, you get mad at me. You get mad at I, me. I, oh my I, God. I, 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 could, I couldn't resist. One last thing, Nick. One last thing. Yeah. Before, and I know that there's going to be some... Uh, bitter fans out there, like, uh, listen, I'm the same way. I like to blame everything under the sun whenever one of my teams lose. What? Oh, What's in these laws? Was Buckner out there? You know what I mean? I'm blaming everyone. I'm blaming everybody. Right. I'm listen, I'm blaming the umpires. I'm blaming the weather. I'm blaming uh, not kissing babies. I'm not sure what. I'm blaming everything, okay? Yeah, you I, I'm one of those guys. I'm one of those guys. So there was another... And this happened before in, I think, the UAE in the IPL, where it seemed like winning the toss was very was a very big, uh, uh, what do you call it, a very big factor, right? Yeah. Winning the toss. And Sri Lanka got lucky, won the toss several times, ended up winning the, uh, uh, those games, right? Now, did every single team that won the toss win the games? No! 
Yes, it's an advantage. It's an advantage. It is what it is. And I've always said I hate that the toss gets to determine who chases and, and, and who balls, especially when sometimes it does play a big factor in it. But ultimately, it's the way the game's played, Nick. You know what I mean? It is what it is. But yes, we know about it. We did. We. I, I'm sure people in the comments and on Twitter, go, well, you know, they had fate on their side. They got lucky. Listen, I'm gonna tell you what a, a guy once told me a long time ago about ago about luck. Luck is when opportunity and preparation meet. All right? Those guys had the opportunity to win, and they were prepared. All right, they have to be prepared because you can get that toss and still. Lose, you know what I mean? And this is the reality about it. You can come out and get blown away. So those are my final thoughts on it. Um, Nick, I think we should hold a North American League. Could we win that if we had a North American League like Canada, USA? Ah, throw the Caribbean in there. Throw the Caribbean in there. Yeah, throw, get the West Indies. You throw the West Indies? I think the West Indies could hold court in that. Yeah, I'm just saying. And so, so no, they can't be in it. We need to call our own tournament. This Mexico, Mexico doesn't have a. a, 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 a I think we beat Ireland before. Let's we get him a team. And then <laughs> look, look at me trying to stack the deck right now. Okay, Mexico, like just get him a team and throw him in there. <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be USA, Canada, yeah, and, and uh, USA, Canada, and Mexico. We will call it the North American Cup. <laughs> Gabe. Oh my gosh, why are we not following the CPL? Do you know what's going on right now in the CPL? I mean, literally, CFA Nation, you're getting this a real live reaction right now. Oh my word. I hate you. The Barbados Royals not only are in the top spot, they're oh, the God. only undefeated team. Six matches, <laughs> six wins. Do you know where your Night Riders are? This is not a CPL video. Last you place. Oh my God. They're at the you. bottom. It figures this is the one season I'm not following religiously because the Knight Riders are one and five or one and three. I don't know how it's only one and three for crying out loud in five matches. They must have had a draw or something. I don't know. Tight. No, maybe they're playing right now. I don't know. But all I know is eat that for crying out loud. Barbados <laughs> Royals sign them up for the final right now. Let's go, baby. Woo! Uh Barbados Royal next match uh, is against the Talawas tomorrow at 7 a.m. 10, that's 10 a.m. local. And you know, man, they've got. What happens. They're going to get blown we'll out. Watch, just because I said we'll... something. You know what? I'd love it. I'd love it uh, to see if um, we maybe could stream the beginning part of that game before we got to go to school, just so you can mush them and they can lose. Oh, oh. let us know in the chat. Let us know in the chat. Can will will Nick mush the Barbados rolls now? I'm I'm sorry they pulled out your Trimbago Knight Riders and chased him with the 16th over. My bad. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry Good that job. a Kyle Mayers can get 79 runs even though Cornwall went down with only one run. I'm sorry about that. Anyways, that just made my day even more ha happier. Let us know what you think about what we said, what we get wrong, all that kind of stuff. Comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to get those requests in the correct way next time, ladies and gentlemen. And with all that time, all that being said, can we get some love for the Royals, baby? Oh my woo, woo, woo. Congratulations. Congratulations, Sri Lanka. It is not a Barbados Royals video. Get out of here. Congratulations, Sri Lanka. Barbados Royals, don't worry. Nick just mushed you. you you're surely to lose tomorrow. Until next time. That's six runs. <laughs>